Last week on overtime. Kyrie has the freedom to wake up and identify as a woman, but he does not have the freedom. To <laughs> yeah, wake up facts. <laughs> yeah. So. They got people fucking identifying as cats and shit, fucking a mm-hmm. potato, whatever, but you, you, you can't, you know, you can't mm-hmm. align yourself with being Hebrew. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. They've been fucking with me too long. They put they put the crazy narrative out there. My Jewish trainer, Harley Pashanak, who's Lizzo's trainer, right. uh, put it out when I went to the hospital, put it in the press. Oh, I got a bunch mm. of friends to the hospital. It didn't go to the press. Oh, All he yeah. did was, was share this tweet. tweet a link. He yeah. tweeted a link. He tweeted this, and then people took that and ran with it. You yeah. say nothing harmful. Uh, Kanye says, what should be obvious by now is that I was raised to stand for my truth regardless of the consequences. So I will say this again. I was mentally misdiagnosed and nearly drugged out of my mind to make me a manageable, well-behaved celebrity. Now, it's that's weird. wild. And then when you look up Semitic, this is on Oxford Dictionary. <laughs> I just had this argument. <laughs> yeah, so relating to or denoting a family of languages that includes Hebrew, Arabic, or Aramaic, Aramaic, sorry, and certain mm-hmm. ancient languages such as Phoenician, Akkadian, constituting the main subgroup of the Afro-Asiatic family. Exactly. Where does that but say then- about, I'm going to help you one of a couple of ways. First, you and I sit down and have a loving and open conversation, but you don't use cuss words. Everything that is discussed is based in fact. And not some crazy stuff that your dumb friend of yours told you or you saw in the tweet or maybe in a documentary. Second option, I have you institutionalized again. Keyword again, where they medicate the crap out of you and you go back to zombie land forever. Play date with the kids just won't be the same. Wow. Sound like he was drugged, right? Mm hmm. So the rebuttal I was given was uh the term anti-semitic was i think it was coined during uh what you call it the, the holocaust or whatever it was coined back then. so basically i get it only it's 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 the, the term semitic is basically being hijacked look up anti-semitic right. it's just conf, it's confusing it makes no sense to or characterized by anti-Semitism, feeling or showing hostility toward feeling, so even feelings, or showing hostility toward or discrimination against Jews as a cultural, racial, or ethnic group. See? So, okay, but at the same time, you're saying cultural, racial. So if Kyrie feels that he's probably racially connected to, you know, original hebrews then how can he be mm-hmm. anti-semitic that is the million dollar question this cops respond to a call for a welfare check on kanye around 1 20 p.m pacific time he was at his trainer harley passionate's home at the time and was acting erratically um he was part of the uh defense research board so what they say this is kind of like close to um also, the Defense Research and Development Branch, which is pretty much the DOD of Canada. What exactly is he now? He's like a celebrity fitness instructor, uh, a trainer. But they're saying he's Lizzo's trainer, oh. but the bitch is still big. So, like, how is how's okay. the sex with Lizzo? So, right. maybe he's okay. just a handler. That's, that's the connection I'm trying. He, maybe he's just uh, yeah, a handler. Yeah, yeah. Interested in was how drugs and food affect muscular performance and well, when you say drugs are that like performance enhancing drugs are they all, all just... kinds of drugs oh, right okay so working for the military i wasn't governed by the same laws that the typical person was so i could look at the impact of certain drugs that are not that are not everyday things so we looked at a drug called modafinil okay. which was for narcoleptics so if you give a soldier this um, drug uh, how long could they stay awake for without uh, having any health detriment. 
is, that, <coughs> is that used now as a, one of these brain <coughs> drugs? I've, I've, I've heard the name before somewhere. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's very interesting. Modafinil, it will keep you awake, but it's not a stimulant. Really? So if a special forces person has to stay awake for three nights waiting for the right opportunity to do whatever they have to do, we could give them a daffodil and it would keep them alert. I did uh, research on a drug called acetazolam. Okay, so, all right, so part of this, you know, uh, defense research board that I was telling you about, mm -hmm. that's similar to the CIA, um, used these type of agents. LSD and stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see 1951 in there. Yeah, that back in back in the day. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was a go. Subscribe to the notion is cool. If not, you ain't got to. Like, why are people so sensitive? I mean, that's like mm -hmm. another topic in itself. But um, I don't know. LeBron blows me, and and like when he does shit like this, it's like clearly you're a gatekeeper. You're the boule. Like when you move like yeah. this, clearly, like you you have an agenda. You know, you're getting orders. You're like the little knight. You know, on the chess piece, taking mm -hmm. care of the pawns. Clearly, yeah. So yeah, you keeping people up for for days on Three end. That's, that's, that sounds like sleep deprivation. That's a tactic that they use. That's like, kind of like cocaine, my brother. That sounds like something they using like Guantanamo Bay, right? Mm -hmm. But they said Kanye, his outburst was a result of exhaustion. Mm-hmm. So he kept this man up for probably three, four, five, six days straight with his fucking mod modafinil, whatever fuck he was using. It's like, okay, this guy is like a, he was ex-military, ex-DOD, probably, you know, some form of CIA as far as Canada is concerned. Come mm -hmm. over here in Hollywood and ingratiate himself with the fucking Hollywood, you know, black elites or whatever. He has basically the, the, the list of stuff that he has to do now to to get back into the league, right. um, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't understand. Like, I think somebody is basically saying he's they, he's uh they they're trying to emasculate him basically. Uh, he has to do all six things. He has to apologize and condemn the movie. I mean, he apologized. Why he has to condemn it? Like, even mm -hmm. though you know. There's parts of the movie that people probably don't agree with, but that's like any anything you watch, anything that's you yeah. know what I mean, read or watch, like you like it's it, nothing is law, you know what I mean? It's crazy, you gotta he has to he has to donate five hundred thousand, right? To meant to hate. D didn't he? Wasn't he silently donating money to the uh, Black Lives Matter and stuff right. like that? Which, I, I don't know if you watched. I watched the, the whole. It was the whole three hours and some change. Whole three hours and some change, and I did not see or hear that one anti-Semitic trope or whatever. <laughs> if you, if you, yeah, if you didn't, if I, if you, cons I feel like if you uh, consider that documentary anti-Semitic, you did not watch it. You did not watch it at all. Compelling stuff in there is like they were talking about how you can like trace language, mm -hmm. trace like uh, like phenotypes and. Uh, genealogy and all that type stuff back yeah, to you know you know it was the root, mad the root research. research yeah <laughs> mad so. research done and they're trying to uh they're trying to get that joint removed but you know what you know what's for sale on Amazon hmm. Mein Kampf oh, okay. can't nothing yeah. be more anti Semitic than the Hitler autobiography but that that's would be yeah right. that's would be because like as far as like uh society and entertainment Hollywood is in love with Nazi and Hitler and all that shit. Like, mm -hmm. I even looked on IMBD uh, the other day, and there's 76 titles, plenty of it, with, with Nazi movies. <laughs> like, y'all love this shit. Like, he looked like the only dude that looked like him there. And uh, his one security guard. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah. I don't know, but like mm. a little. Uh, I see. I seen something. Um... You see this? <laughs> <laughs> Jewish billionaire son. So they just who previously served a year in prison in 2014 after being convicted of bribing an Israeli police officer. Huh. Hmm. A 
well-known Kabbalist rabbi. So he's in the, the, uh, the mystic arts. 2010, LeBron reportedly sought spiritual guidance from Pinto during the big merchandising meeting that took place on a private yacht. That was probably that other picture. Getting tattoos like this. Sigma Pi Phi, Boulay. Mm. The gatekeepers. Hmm. I don't think that's an accident with people because they just, you can immediately, when I be having conversations with people like at work or outside of work, I'm like, oh, okay, you read the news or you read you read headlines, you read uh, Shade Room or some shit like that. Like, it's right. instantly, like, as soon as they open their mouth, it's like, okay, that's a headline. <laughs> Like yeah. you, you're not capable of like formulating your own ideas. If you f- looking from like the outside, the white man's been getting dragged in the news, right? As mm-hmm. a whole, mm-hmm. even if like you're if you are a supporter of Trump and you're like a white man, it's like oh boom, you automatically racist. That's what like the mainstream narrative is, right? Right. Am I tripping? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's the mainstream narrative. But right. you can categorize people like that, right? But Kanye or Kyrie can't categorize, you know, Jewish hierarchy and like, you know, mm-hmm. entertainment and shit like that. That's weird to me. It's like nah. we can society as a people can condemn white man as a whole, but you can't condemn Jewish people. The, the religion. You can't do the yeah. religion. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's got to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ain't that weird though? Yeah. But they they white. So it's like, why can't two people that's you know in the you know they see the side of you know business and uh whatever and they just point out you know some you know pretty much based on facts Facts. but yeah but it's you know (laughs) they get fucking million strip they get dragged through the media Kyrie get a six lashes that should look like some goddamn Willie Lynch shit so it's like (laughs) it's too it's too descriptive it's too descriptive Adidas founders Adi and Rudy oh, they started Gazda. with the Nazi party. Yeah. Oh wow, were members of the Nazi party in 1933. Wow, that's wild. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that this is, is crazy. Time Magazine. Yep, that makes no damn sense. That's why they yep. about to go bankrupt because there wasn't nothing selling over there by Yeez, but Yeezys anyway. Exactly, about to he was like sixty percent of their yeah of their income. They stupid, mm. <laughs> and they need to put their own shoes out. But bro, that's what Kyrie. I so that's what be telling. LeBron is Boule. He's a gatekeeper because Kyrie was saying at, during the lockout mm-hmm. or whatever during like Corona or, or I think there was a lockout or before they came back from Corona. It's probably in between those two times. He was saying like, bro, we don't. Oh, it was when the, all the fucking wild shit was happening as far as like police brutality. Yeah, during the lockout, George Floyd shit. So he's like, we don't need like we can start our own league. And then, you know what I mean, people were kind of listening, but it was like, uh, you know what I mean, Kyrie's still on that flat earth shit. You know what I'm saying? They how they paint the picture yeah. of the man. But, you know, eventually, uh, remember people were like walking off the floor and shit? Yeah. During the bubble. Uh-huh. And then LeBron, you know, organized where people came out and played. You could tell he's a gatekeeper. They just, you know, hey. threw some fucking things on the back of his shirt, on a Nike shirt, and everything was all good. Yeah. And you know, racism. And, yeah. <laughs> and so be it, so be it, you know, that was LeBron last championship. In front of all these slaves, this one, this y'all baddest one, y'all richest one, he gonna stand up to us, and we all sit there and watch. And you Mandis, him and Bezos. Listen, or, no, he, he just a face. He's a face, he's a gatekeeper, just like with the whole yeah. like um when the shit was going down with the whole, you know, you know, the whole movement and shit. And then Jay-Z get out in front of it and it was like, all right, y'all, chill out with this whole Colin Kaepernick shit. Like, we ain't got to take these knees. You know uh, what I'm saying? It's the same shit. Just, like, if you just watch their moves you, and, then, and then pay attention to who's in that shit, you, it's clear as day. Symbolism, everybody has to have a uh, uh, different labels, this and that, you know. Um, it's It's definitely a... It's definitely uh, an agenda to to divide everyone. It's definitely an agenda to divide everyone. So, okay.